Hello and welcome to the final video of The Prelude by Bach, BWV998. We're diving into the final few bars of that cadenza and that fantastic cadence that Bach has put in here. There is a lot of juicy music here, so let's dive straight in. Prelude, BWV998, J.S. Bach. Okay, welcome to the final video for this fantastic prelude. Here we're in the depths of so much beauty, it's, it's just untrue. So anyway, we left it off here at G minor at the 5th fret. It's a full bar, 3rd finger on D, 2nd finger on B flat. If you can, keep that bar down because you're going to need it. So it is going to be 4, 3, 4, 3, 1, 3, 4, 3, 4, and now you're going to have to stretch out. I said leave it in place because you need that G in the next bar. So I'm just going to step through that again. 8, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7, 8, 7, 8, 1, 9, 1 for the fingering in that bar there. Right, bar 39 we have 2, 1, 2. Now I'm switching to an open G here. Then it's going to be two, three, two, one, one, three, two. Shift up that entire shape. And again, I'm using a transposed low D, so I'm not using a high D. So let's start that again. Bar at fifth fret, bottom five, six, five, six, open. everything up, 4 and 5, that's 1, 2, 3, pause, there is a fermata sign there. Okay, so that's it for the first micro study, let's take a look at this in slow motion. So we left it on this fantastic suspended fourth chord. This is a written out ornament. Fourth finger on an F sharp, two, one on A and G sharp. If you can, get the G sharp and F sharp to ring over. So it's gonna go B, I, pull off, I, Written-out ornament, Bach is just helping us out here. Now, I've changed the fingering here, and we'll go through the alternatives at the end of the video. So it goes 2, 0, 2, 3, 0, 4, 4 down, open E, 3, open E with the G on the second finger, 1, 4, and then your first finger is going to bounce down to the E. Four, one, one, three, two, one. And we're then back into the top of the piece. It is a lovely cadence. Let's step through that again nice and slowly. Two, zero, two, three, zero, four, four down. Open E. Three, two, one, four, one, four, one, one, three, two, one. Or you could do. Um, D there because then you can go that can fade away and come back into the, the opening. It is possible to play this obviously but it cuts 
that D note out, which is why, again, it's a musical decision for that. Right, let's take a look at this all in together now in slow motion. <laughs> micro study we're back up at the top of the piece I am just going to step through the fingering until we hit some new material so four three four exactly like the first video second phrase four two four two one and then I'm sliding up with my first finger three one two So I'm using one, zero, half bar, stretch out, one, four, three, one, two, three, one, zero, half bar, two again, stretching out, four, three, four, C sharp on the first finger, four, three, one, and then we're into the next micro study. So that's quite a bit. Uh, take it nice and slowly. There are again two voices. Voice one. Second voice. Right, nice and slowly. enjoying this video if you are consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel I am going to be walking through the entirety of this prelude fugue and allegro next up will be the allegro and eventually I am going to be looking at the fugue or I might look at the fugue and then the allegro I don't know that fugue is massive anyway let's dive straight back into prelude by Bach welcome to the final few bars of this fan fantastic Right, I'm just going to step through the fingering. So we have a D, half bar at second position, three, two, one, one. Stretching your fourth finger out. Your fourth finger, you're going to have to laser ahead to that C natural because it's D7. And now your first finger should come up because we are going to be playing F sharp to D in the bass, four to five, with an open D. At the same time, we are going to be playing So I would practice that. If you can, get your third finger down as soon as possible to get that B. And then it is going to be 4 on the G, open E, back into first position with 1 and 2. G again, and then your third finger again, it's a 4-3 move, 1 at the 2nd fret on the B, 4, 2, 4, 2, 2 slides. Then your first finger is going to slide up, open G and B, 4th finger again, this time 3rd finger on the A, 1st finger on a C sharp, off, I'm using an open G to F sharp so that you can hear it, hear the clash. And please note, I'm using a third finger there for one very good reason, so that I can do this at the end. Don't wait, and the few should be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Whatever your triplets are in the prelude should match the few's crotches. All right, that's how it goes. So no rest into the few. In slow motion, let's take a look at this.
thank you very much for staying until the end. This has been brought to you by ClassicalGuitarRocks.com, the home of Six String Inspiration, my baby. There is a ton of free content on there. I've pretty much made most of the lessons free. If you want some Villa Lobos, if you want some more Bach, if you want to find out how Bach creates a canon and grab some Six String Inspiration for yourself today.